What were you most pleased with tonight, Brett? Oh, I think clearly the response to a, to a poor performance last week that was that's important. I think you can, you know, when things are going well for you, you get positive reinforcement of what's working. But it's it's um, I've always been a believer that you learn the most from your losses, and I was really pleased with the the work that our coaching group you know did. I wanted to rectify um, last week in a few areas, but you know, coming up against the midfield that contains Libertore, Bontempelli, you know, Trelaw, you know really good players and um, to respond like we did particularly in centre bounce was really important for us and you know I, I thought our rucks were really important in that part of the game as well so yeah I think the the, the overwhelming um, thing I was most pleased with is just you know the response because when things are going well it, things are a lot easier it, I think the real measure is how you respond. So on, on that score I think most neutral observers might have expected that they would roll over you for after half time happen the other way around. So the sort of win that can sort of set up a season? Well, it's sort of... All I keep thinking, and I keep hearing other coaches talk about it and players, it's just a brutal competition. And, you know, we were we were really good in sort of stoppage, centre bounce area for the first three weeks, and then we got taught a lesson, you know, in, in basically three quarters or two quarters. So... Um, you just can't take anything for granted. I mean, it was a, it was a I thought it was a really solid performance from our guys today. But and that's that's great for round five, but it doesn't mean anything for round six. And you just look around the competition, you know, it's it's just tight. And even the really good teams, they're a little bit off. They're they're um, you know, they're vulnerable. And you know, we're in a position where we're trying to you know assert ourselves in game against good opposition, and we've clearly got a long way to go in that space. Within that, though, I mean, the things that you can control, <coughs> you were really good at. It's not like you know, the effort, the um, intensity. I guess is that the challenge now compared to last week? The challenge now is to sort of maintain that consistency. I mean, almost go back to last because those first four months last year, you were pretty, was a pretty consistent. Effort. Yeah, I, look, I, and I think there's, you know, all the things that we look at, I get that, that it looks like really poor effort. And, you know, it's difficult for me to say last week, I, I didn't identify effort as the issue. Um, but when you're losing by 10 goals, it looks like a lack of effort. Um, you know, I'll analyse our GPS numbers um, later tonight, and I'm pretty sure they'll look pretty similar to last week. So the, there's, there's effort and there's execution. And there's, you know, I think when the game's on the line, you know, and the contest's on the line, it's just the ability to, to, to hold your feet in the contest, to win you know, a crucial contest like Jai Caldwell did in the middle of the ground. You know, they're, they're the, that's the difference. You get the game on your terms. And the, the game, from my vantage point, just always appears on a knife edge, you know, every week. So it's, it's exactly the way the AFL wanted, I think. Just on Caldwell, you know, the Dogs midfield, Lebar, Bontempelli, super decorated, but you've got Caldwell, Sam Durham was great in there as well. You know, how proud were you of, of those younger players tonight? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a big call to, um, to say that, you know, we're... I mean, we've got some, some good experienced players, but, you know, the big roles went to Durham and Caldwell. So, um, you know, we, that, that's, that's, you, know, you learn a lot from, from those opportunities, but I thought they stood up you know, really well, they were really important for us, both of them. And, um, you know, but, you know, I feel like a bit of an under-12s coach, but I just, it was a good team effort tonight. It was just, we, I could go through all the players and a lot of roles that, that some will be recognised externally, some won't, but all be recognised internally. One effort I think will be recognised externally is the, the effort of Todd Goldstein, just on one of the informal ruckman in the comments team, was probably one of the best players tonight. Yeah, he was, was, he was terrific. I thought he set us up early. Um, you know, but it, again, it's, it's um, the combination with, with Draper, we, we're keen to get going. And, um, you know, they were, they're, they're, they're proud competitors and they were, they were disappointed with their performance last week. And, you know, I thought, I thought both Draper and, and Goldstein were influential and, you know, we English is an all Australian for a very good reason. He's a really good player, and you know, I thought we got the ascendancy in there, which is good. And just, the, I mean, further than that, the other crews, Dersmer and Mackay, were I felt I looked like definitely played probably his best game for the the year so far. And Mackay does a job again. Must be really pleased with how the recruits have gone so. Far. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's <clears throat> they're just playing their roles for us. I mean, Mackay's got a big role. He plays on on you know, it's the hard thing about being a key back. You, you play on a gun every week. Um, so this, it's just relentless, and he's um, he's been exceptional. But we had we, we clearly identified you know the role that he would play for us, and 
you know, we're still building that that back half. But you know, he was excellent again. But you know, I thought the back line as a unit worked really well because you know when you look at Hugel Hagen, Norton, Darcy, Waitman, you know, Riley West is playing a really important role for them at the moment. It was going to be a, a big task for our defence, and they held up. Just goal kicking this year, I think only once so far this year you've been below 50% in a game. Has that been a real focus over the summer? Because it's sort of been one of your big positives this year. Yeah, we spend a, an enormous amount of time on it, both on and off the track. And um, you might ask, how do you, how do you do that off the track? But, you know, it's it's the, the, the mental side of, of goal kicking is, I think everyone's known for a long time. Not many, not many people want to sort of admit it but you know these these guys are excellent kicks and you know if you you watch them at training they just go back and like a metronome just sort of nail them but when the pressure's on and, it, and it's you know it's a it's a big game and a big moment you know the the, the mental side of the game is really important and we've invested heavily in that space and you know, um you know we've got some really good people in that in that area and um you know, David Rath's come on board as you know, we've, as the technical side of, of that part of our game as well. So, you know, I couldn't be happier with you know the the way that our our coaches take that and and the technical side, the mental side is really important. But you know, the coaching group tonight, you know, Daniel G and Syracuse, Brent Stanton, you know, we got touched up last week, and like our players, they're proud competitors too, and and they just put together a really good plan tonight, and our players executed. Nick Hines had three games in a row as sub. Will he need a full game at some level in the future? Yeah, he will at some point. Um, Pondy's problem is a good problem for our team because he's um, he's just such a you know he's an energising player, and you know when he comes on fresh and and buzzes around, it's a, it's good for us. And he has flexibility to play in all parts of the ground, so um, he's just a he fits that role really well at the moment. But it's you know I. I agree. I don't think it's something you can continue to do for a long period of time. So, you know, we, hopefully we get some um, more availability and, and he can play a slightly different role for us. John Menzies, the shoulder, was that, was that the issue? Um, yeah, it's only, it was, it, we, we subbed him out only because, um, you know, it was, we were told he could, he could keep playing, but he just, he just looked hampered. Um, so, you know, the, the medical staff aren't concerned about it necessarily, but, um, yeah, you know, we probably just had that that luxury of a like for like player, so we just we just activated that sub out of precaution. But yeah, hopefully he'll be available next week. Any other players that might be available next week that are um, Well, Dylan Shield made his made his return through the VFL and looked really sharp in the VFL. Um, and so we had some pretty good performances, particularly in the first half. We had to. It's hard when you play before the AFL. You've got to. You sort of want your emergencies to play, but um, you need some cover. But yeah, I mean, Shealy's probably the one who you know will will look to to ramp him up, whether that's next week or a bit later. But it's just great to see him back playing footy. Mm -hmm. Thanks, guys.